Summer is finally upon us and we're well into event season for the defence industry. This week's latest in defence features technology unveiled around the time of the Eurosatria exhibition in Paris. Duke Airborne Systems unveils a pioneering remote weapon system for use on helicopters. Lockheed shows how a new armoured vehicle turret can launch missiles designed for use on aircraft and Raytheon has completed flight testing on its small diameter bomb. Without further ado, let's get on with watching stuff blow up. Utility helicopters deliver troops and supplies to otherwise inaccessible areas, but are minimally armed, so usually need an armed escort. Israeli company Duke Airborne Systems presented its solution to this at this year's Eurosatria event, a fully robotic remote weapon system for helicopters. Duke's RWS sits in the cargo space of the helicopter, and it's only deployed to the belly of the helicopter by robotic arms when it's needed. This reduces drag and keeps its arm status secret from the enemy. The business end of the RWS is an electric 25mm machine gun that can deliver up to 2,000 rounds of munitions over 360 degrees in daylight or at night. Finally, if the helicopter needs to make a quick getaway and has to drop unnecessary weight, the pilot can activate cargo hooks to jettison the RWS. Also at Eurosatry, Lockheed Martin released details of its new vehicle-based turret system. The long-range surveillance and attack vehicle can launch Hellfire 2 and Dagger missiles, weapons usually used on helicopters or fixed-wing aircraft. The system gives infantry fighting vehicles additional range, firepower and effectiveness on the battlefield. Importantly, it means IFVs can engage and kill tanks, penetrating any level of armour. Lockheed successfully fired Hellfire 2 and Dagger missiles on its LRSAV platform in May at Eglin Air Force Base in Florida. Though this demo uses an 8x8 weird armoured vehicle, Lockheed says it can be fitted to any platform. While we're talking explosions, Raytheon recently finished a series of flight tests for its small diameter bomb 2 for the US Air Force. The final stages saw direct hits on stationary land targets using upgraded hardware and electronics. The small diameter bomb is designed for use against armoured targets at up to 4 nautical miles away. Compared to similar weapons, it's got a small explosive footprint to minimise collateral damage. And if operators change their mind post-launch, they can change targets via a data link that passes in-flight updates to the weapon. The small diameter bomb will now take part in a series of live fire tests to demonstrate its end-to-end -end capability before moving on to the system verification review. Military innovation happens all year round but there's always a surge of announcements around events like Eurosatry. This year's show had a strong emphasis on land warfare. This is not entirely unrelated to the threat of instability spreading from the Ukraine. But you can be sure there will be lots of more aircraft focus announcements later this month when Farnborough soars into town. Latest in defence will be there as the F-35 takes centre stage. Join us next time to see what's new in the sky.